President Pedro Castillo is confident prosecutors won't find any evidence of corruption in the six criminal cases against him. I will go as many times as I am summoned. I have gone to say and demonstrate that I reject all accusations against the President of the Republic. The President told prosecutors he is innocent, but that's all. His lawyer says he wouldn't answer further questions, a defense strategy used at two previous hearings. The corruption case is expanding. On Monday, Attorney General Patricia Benavides named Prime Minister Aníbal Torres and Justice Minister Félix Chero as part of the investigation. The probes have reached Castillo's closest allies and his family. Prosecutors asked the judiciary to ban the First Lady Lilia Paredes from traveling. Her sister Jennifer has been detained for 36 months. A nephew is on the run. Businessmen, mayors and former government officials are also being drawn into the investigation. Opinion polls say President Castillo's support has grown from 25 to nearly 30 percent since he launched a nationwide campaign saying he and his family are victims of political persecution staged from here, from the public ministry. Castillo supporters say prosecutors are corrupt. What the prosecutors are doing is unfair. They have no evidence. They have investigated him several times and found nothing. His critics want him to leave office. A group of nearly 400 young professionals and university students have joined forces around the country to sign up Peruvians to a petition that demands a new general election. There must be a lot of citizen pressure. We had lost hope, but now we're fed up with the situation because every day there is more and more news of corruption in the government. The country is divided. Most Peruvians disapprove of Castillo and Congress. With most former presidents detained or under investigation for corruption, Peruvians say they don't see a way out from this political crisis except demanding for every politician to leave and start again. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.